<coughs> very good morning my dear student uh, so today i will going to discuss uh, some program based on the uh, math plot lip uh, so in a math plot lip uh, the data visualizations um, and uh, with some variances of the data uh, some variables that we are going to use uh, so uh, let us see uh, what as uh, what the program is about and how the program will going to uh, work and uh, what are the thing the program will going to have and how the program can execute that is also the main thing uh, that we need to uh, see and that we need to find it out okay so all these particular structures that we will going to create an um, structure and uh, we are framing it and we are executing that particular part let us see uh, how the thing is working and how we will going to get uh, the particular work uh, to be implementable now uh, see this particular program in this particular variances uh, that we will going to calculate uh, <coughs> so data uh, variance what we will going to calculate here first and foremost what has been done here first uh, import panda as pd so panda has been imported here as pd then uh, <coughs> we can find the numpy has been imported as np so uh, when these two thing has been done when we find this particular two structures has been created uh, what we can find it that that we are creating here a dictionary or the data frame so uh, dictionary that we are creating here in this uh, particular dictionary what we can find here uh, that uh, d equals to first uh, has been given were <coughs> the different names that means combinations of some character variables after combining those uh, character variable that what we can find that there is a score one score one means what uh, that we are having a different pattern of scores and uh, those the different pattern of scores as we find it uh, that uh, there are the those the scores are there so uh, uh, like 62 47 55 74 all these different pattern of uh, scores has been taken that score 2 has been taken there in a score 2 what we can find it that there are the different pattern of score 2's values has been uh, taken it here okay so as we find the different type of score 2 values has been taken then score 3 values has been taken so this is what we can find it that one structures has been constructed here so as we are constructing this particular structures as we are making this particular structure uh, what we are finding in this particular structure is that uh, that uh, this is the particular structure what we have this is the particular part uh, uh, that we are uh, constructing here uh, we can construct it into a particular series or the data frame series isn't it so um, then what has been done here you can find here the df equals to pd dot data frame uh, that d and uh, print uh, df then what has been done uh, that print df lock local variable of what score one uh, dot variance that means uh, score one variance uh, what is the value of the score one um, the variance of the score one that has been calculated so this is what you can see here in this particular program what uh, the thing has been structured here uh, we can find it uh, that we are importing here the python panda so as we are importing here the python panda and we are importing here the numpy here after the python panda and numpy then what you can see here uh, the first the thing that means uh, those the particular uh, thing has been called here and under that what we can see here that we are having a structures and we are forming that particular structure isn't it so as we are forming the structure that means uh, the data uh, structures that has been constructed here and uh, we find it that this is the particular data frame or data structures that what we are constructing here uh, that will going to uh, make the particular work uh, to be implementable okay so as we are uh, making uh, this uh, particular thing uh, to be implementable as we can find it that those the particular thing to be uh, working here we are working in this uh, particular area and uh, we are making this particular area to be worked with so uh, those are the scores that we have find out those are the scoring pattern that we have find out uh, that all this particular scoring pattern that we are having it here and we are constructing it here they are uh, having uh, some certain pattern of the structures they are having some certain pattern of the working 
space isn't it so as it is having the working space and it has uh, it has uh, the working structure in this particular uh, working structures what we can find it uh, that we have uh, the particular module isn't it we have the particular module and we uh, need to work on that particular module uh, what has been uh, given to it so there are the different three uh, sections has been given here and in this three section what we can find that we are implementing that particular section we are working with this particular section in uh, such a way or such a manner uh, that we are uh, having the particular uh, pattern we are uh, having the particular structures isn't it so this is what this is the data frame that has been constructed we are uh, trying to construct here one data frame so data frame means a dictionary in this dictionary what we can see uh, the dictionary will going to have <coughs> a lot of values many values are there so based on those uh, different pattern of values what are there uh, we will going to have the structures we will going to build the structure okay so as we are uh, building the structures as we are uh, constructing the structure in this particular structure what we find what we can see uh, that uh, there it has got what the different type of uh, scenar, uh, scenario based on which we, uh, we can find it that it will going to have a data and it will going to construct with this data fine so as we are constructing on this data that means what are the data value that we have taken it here data value we can find that we have taken it here uh, is that name okay name we have taken it here name is the what name is a character pattern of variables as it is a character pattern of variables there we have given some uh, combinations of the characters and as we have given the combination of the characters we are uh, writing it and we are uh, working on this particular area fine now next what we have a score one score one means what there are the different values that we are giving to it so all those different pattern of values that we are giving to it each and every value that we will going to have each and every part of the value that we will going to have we will going to work on this particular area okay next what we are having here we are having here the different type of uh, scores uh, score 2 is been given there and as we find the score 2 has been given there then we have given a score 3 okay so score 3 has been given so all this particular pattern or all this particular area uh, when we are uh, giving to it and when we are making to it what we framed it uh, that df equals to pd dot data frame uh, then uh, we are uh, calling that particular structure of the data frame so as we are calling this particular structure of the data frame uh, we find it how this particular data frame will going to work and how we can implement that particular data structures uh, so print df what we have given it that uh, variance uh, and uh, we can specify the uh, column column how we specified print df dot log log means the local variable based on this particular local variable what uh, is been uh, constructed here it has been constructed where here one variance variance on what variance of the scores the scores uh, that has uh, implemented here uh, the score one taking the value of score one what we can see what we can find uh, that uh, this is the particular score one that has been taken uh, there the value will going to be implemented here okay so those the values we are going to implement here as we find it uh, that each and every value that we are having it and we are implementing it uh, we can uh, find it out the different patterns of structures isn't it we can see that there are the different type of structures that we do have and uh, we do construct those different type of structures what is there so all these different pattern of structures what uh, based on which what we are constructing the data and uh, we are working on the data we have to uh, see it uh, that uh, is those values are applicable here or not now what we find it <coughs> that based on the name though we cannot score uh, the variable okay we cannot uh, complete the variance so what we will going to have for the variance that we must have a number so there we find that there is a different pattern of numbers that we are using here and we are implementing here okay so as we are implementing those number as we find it that those the number pattern or number series um, uh, what we are implementing see here different type of numbers has been given there score 1 score 2 and score 3 as score 1 score 2 and score 3 has been given there so df equals to pd dot data frame data frame is there now we are calling this particular data frame and we are working on this particular data frame 
so this is the data frame structure what is there this is the data frame uh, scenario that we can find it uh, that we are working on this particular data frame structures and um, we are making this particular data frame to be worked with it so as we are calling the data frame here what also we have called here the variance okay variance functions to be worked with so as we have called the variance function to be worked with that will work with a score uh, so uh, let us see what is the output that we are going to get from here uh, now see the output what you get the output from here see here uh, there is a name as the name uh, column the name and has been given there then there is a score 1 score 2 and score 3 so uh, according to that the score value is also there and uh, what we are having here from 0 uh, to 11 isn't it 0 to 11 now what the variance I uh, we required here we required the score 1 variance this is the score 1 so uh, score 1 those the values what is their score 1 values are been added and adding the score 1 value the variance has been uh, taken out from here so this is how we can uh, construct the structure this is how we can make the structures and <coughs> as we can make the structures we can implement the structures in this particular way or in this particular manner okay so when we are implementing it when we are making this particular structure we also find it uh, that those the values that we have given here those the part of the value that we have implemented here so in each of this particular value in each of this particular part what we are having here we are making the constructions and uh, we are having the particular structures to be worked with okay we are having the structures to be worked with as we find that uh, we have a different uh, type of structures that we are working with we will going to make the particular thing implementable and uh, we will going to make the particular work uh, to be workable okay so this is the thing that we can find this is the thing that we can see uh, that as we are having the particular structures as we find that there is a particular pattern is there so all this particular pattern that we are having it here we are making it here uh, we can make those particular pattern of the structures and we can implement those particular pattern of the structures okay so this is the particular pattern of the structures that we uh, will going to have here and we will going to make it okay we will going to make it and we will going to have this particular uh, structures that will going to work on this particular scenario so uh, this is the thing that we can see that how we are getting the output and how the output is been implementable okay how the output is implementable in this area so see here th uh, 304.36 so this is the variance value uh, that after the calculations it has been uh, get from here okay so this is how uh, the structures of the variance you can calculate based on the uh, calling the variance function now see the another function uh, and programs so in this particular function and program what you can find it this is a particular section uh, <coughs> sorry where we have what where we have the math plot lib isn't it so as we are importing this particular math plot lib under the math plot lib what we are calling here pi plot as plt so pi plot as plt as we are calling this particular pi plot as plt then uh, what we have the import numpy as np okay import numpy as np as we are importing the numpy as np we find it that x val x val will be there and based on this particular x val uh, now what we will going to find here uh, that uh, there are the different types of array okay there is a different array range has been taken what is the array range has been taken minus 2 then 1 uh, then 0 0.01 okay now y well what it has uh, it has been taken 1 minus 0 0.5 into x well uh, that in uh, to the power or into into 2 so uh, there what it has been done that plotted that means what it is plotting quadratic equation quadratic equation 1 into uh, 1 minus uh, half uh, into x to the power of 2 that uh, the quadratic equation what is there U using that quadratic equation the value is been calculated so as you find the value has been calculated here we can plot here uh, the x val and y val uh, is b dash so b dash has been seen in a blue uh, that is uh, uh, dotted lines 
okay blue dotted lines will going to come here uh, then we have given what quadratic title uh, of the title we have given the x level uh, name and we have given the y level name so this is the structures what we can find that this particular structure has been created for uh, what first and foremost the matplotlib function has been called so uh, matplotlib function under this particular matplotlib function what is the function will going to work uh, that is a pi plot so uh, under that dot pi plot has been called here next what we can find numpy import numpy as np so numpy program also has been called here and based on this particular numpy program what we can find uh, that the structures has been evaluated or structures has been calculated okay as we find the structures has been calculated uh, this is the particular structure that we have uh, this is the particular uh, structure that we find uh, that we are having uh, different pattern of the structures and we can construct the different pattern of the structures so as we are constructing the different pattern of the structure each of the pattern of the structure what is there each of the pattern of the structure that we can have uh, that we find it that they will going to work and they will going to make uh, the series in a particular form or in a particular format so this is the particular form or particular format that we have uh, that we can find that we are having those particular pattern of uh, scenario based on this particular scenario uh, we will going to have a uh range uh, that will going to call here okay so we are calling a certain range range is what np equals to array okay so there is a starting address there is an ending address and there is a gap between them or the condition what is there has been given then what we can find that there is an y value for y value one value has been taken that uh, a quadratic equation value has been taken here one minus uh, half uh, to the power of x well uh, into x well to the pow uh, power of two uh, so that has been taken and uh, here plotting has been done what using the blue dot so uh, blue dot is what uh, that uh, blue dotted line will going to come for this particular purpose okay so as uh, this is the uh, designing you can see this is the designing that has been given to here and based on this designing we can see it uh, that how the value will going to work okay so how the value will going to work uh, there we uh, we have given in uh, the name uh, of the title of it uh, that is a quadratic equation and x value has been given here y level has been given here so when we are giving the x level and y level by uh, on this particular two uh, what has been done here we have uh, designed the plot and we have implemented that particular graph okay so this is the graphical pattern that uh, has been done here then uh, has been implemented uh, based on which what we find it that we have called here two pattern of values what are those two pattern of value one is matplotlib uh, one is a numpy so numpy and matplotlib numpy means from the data frame matplotlib from the graph so numpy and in uh, that uh, particular uh, matplotlib has been called here uh, to construct it and to run uh, the particular thing in a uh, one systematic manner or one systematic way so this is how you can see let us see what is the output of it Uh, so now you see what the output has been come what I have given blue dotted line see here this particular blue dotted line is there as you see the blue dotted line is there uh, based on the quadratic equation plot the thing has been calculated so it has started from minus 2 as it has been given and it has ended 1 okay there are the variance between uh, 0 0.5 uh, minus uh, will be there and uh, similarly the value has came here or here also we start with uh, minus 1 and it ends with plus 1 so as we are getting the values we can find it that see the blue dotted line has been carved here in this particular blue dotted line as it has been give the x value and y value based on the quadratic equation phase uh, the thing has been designed here okay so this is the thing what we can find that uh, this particular thing has been designed here after designing this particular thing we will going to have the structures and we will going to uh, complete this particular pattern 
okay so this is how we can use uh, the graph and we can implement the graph as we are using the graph we can find it see uh, i have shown you uh, that the <coughs> variable that we are using and based on that the quadratic equations that we, you are using as per uh, the norms that we are using the quadratic equation different types of uh, equation for x or for y we have used it and using that uh, we are getting the particular output so what is this particular output is that uh, the graphical representation of the data that we are using there isn't it the graphical representation of the data that we are using there so what we have here x value and y value x value and y value is there uh, and along with that we uh, do have we uh, design it with a blue dotted line and uh, another thing is that uh, that there the name also been specified here okay so all this designing has been done so this is uh, what is for today today i am ending my session here thank you all